Today I'll be previewing for you the new wrestling styles feature in the game as well as how gimmicks are handled. In the previous game you could define the moveset that each wrestler had. In this game you define a general wrestling style that they will use in the match simulation. Each wrestling style utilizes specific abilities and categories of the wrestler's stats. For instance, a power wrestler won't probably be using the agility stat all that much. Likewise, a high flyer won't be using the strength stat. Alright, so here's a preview of what each different wrestling style will use. The celebrity wrestler, uh, like if you hire a movie star, will just use an average of all the stats. Here you can see each stat, what the wrestler has in it, a breakdown of all that, they're color-coded, and the universal stat, which is an average of all the above stats. Managers use the same stats as celebrity wrestlers. Brawlers use strength, striking, and brawling skills. You can see this wrestler isn't really made to be a brawler at all. His overall skill is 7 out of 20. Chain wrestlers use agility, technique, mat wrestling. You can see this is a lot more suited to this wrestler. The only thing he's kind of lacking is in the agility stats, so this may not be his best one. Wrestling dirty uses brawling, hardcore, striking, weasel acting and universal stat is 8 out of 20. Again, this may not be the best for this wrestler. Hardcore, again, kind of a crappy one for this wrestler. High flying, eh, he's not a high flyer. Let's see, mixed martial arts maybe? No, not very good at that. Old school? Eh, he's not too bad at that, except for his strength and brawling are kind of low. How about power? Nope, really not good at that. Uh, Pirurisu, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but it's basically Jack, Japanese style of wrestling. Uh, it involves a lot of agility, high impact moves, really stiff blows, kicks and punches of that sort. Uh, technical wrestling, that one looks like it's best suited for his wrestler as he excels in basic technique and mat wrestling, so that's what I'm going to put him as, as a technical wrestler. And then the gimmick is a man of a thousand holds. You can say, see it says face acting. If he's a face, then 60% emphasis will be placed on his face acting skill, which isn't very high. If he's a heel, which I'll probably want to make him a heel, then 80% emphasis will be placed on the heel acting skill. And you can see his heel acting skill is very high. Uh, for this gimmick, there's no emphasis on aerial ability or strength, which is good because he doesn't have very much in either. But it is the man of a thousand hold gim holds gimmick, so you wouldn't really expect there to be. Uh, technical wrestling, huge emphasis on that, which makes sense with the gimmick. And you can see he's well suited for that. Uh, there's no emphasis on charisma with that. Uh, if you remember, Dean Malenko was the person who had that gimmick originally. Yeah. About that charisma thing. He doesn't have it. Microphone ability, he really didn't have much of that either. But uh, I thought I would put that in to see if that would work out pretty well because I was thinking of Jericho and his parody of the Man of a Thousand Holds gimmick. Uh, gimmick information is a 70% challenge mostly because uh, the technical requirement is so high. Uh, it has very little to no controversy level. It wouldn't be like a gimmick that involves walking around in bra and panties all the time. Other acting skills that it requires are cheesy and comedy acting if you want to do the parody version of it. Uh, and then there's actually no description in the database for it yet, but I'll have to put that in. Alright, so that is the new performance stat tab and how you utilize the different wrestling styles for wrestlers. So, like, you could go through and define each wrestler's wrestling style, and it greatly influences how the matches simulate. Alright, and that's all for this week.